Hey everyone, it's Richard from Orcasat. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Ultra Librarian um, and how to import components into Altium and add them to our libraries. Um, so Ultra Librarian is a like repository of footprints and schematic symbols. Uh, if you have a TI part, you can grab uh, this weird binary file from the TI website and then load it into this horrible piece of software called Ultra Librarian Binary Reader, which you can download. Um, and then it will uh, spit out for you uh, a set of files that looks a little something like this. Alternatively, uh, and this is the easier option, is uh, head over to DigiKey and find the component that uh, you want to get a footprint for. Um, and there's usually a link to, to grab the Ultra Librarian um, set of files. And they'll give you a zip, uh, just unzip it, and then you'll be given uh, this set of files here. So this is what you get for a particular component. And I grabbed these off DigiKey. Um, so now uh, let's go into Altium and start this procedure. The first thing that's good to do is uh, to have the destination libraries open. Um, so I'm going to be placing this AND gate into the ICs library. Uh, so it's, it's good to have those guys open. Now uh, file open up and then navigate to your ultra librarian set of files. So I've misspelled just about everything here. Uh, and then click on this script, click open. And then uh, right click on the UL form thing, click open, and then go to run, and then navigate to the file. Uh, so now click on this text file, click open, and click start import. And Altium will lock up for a little bit usually. Uh, yep, just did. So just kind of wait that one out. And there we go, only took about 30 seconds to do that. Uh, so now what we have is uh, a PCB and a schematic library sort of hanging out in here uh, with like a generic name. Uh, so if we open that up and uh, go to the library thing, uh, we've got several footprints in here. Yeah, there they are. And the same is true for the uh, schematic. So um, I'm just going to close that one for now. And uh, let's deal with the schematic part first. So I'll open that up. Um, now go up to Tools and then Copy Component. And uh, now you select the destination. So I'm going to go into ICs click OK. And now if we open up, well you can see the schematic library has been modified. Um, and we go into there. It appears not to have imported itself. Cool. Let's see what's going on. SN74. library. 
And uh, yeah, here we go. So it did make it in there. I was just searching for the wrong term. Um, and yeah, let's just edit that. So this is an quad input and gate. Uh, and then yeah, so that's, uh, that's good like it is. So I can just save this library. Um, now let's deal with the schematic, uh, or sorry, the footprints. So open up the uh, PCB library and go to there. And let's see, what's the difference between these L and so these are different sizes. So I don't actually remember which one I need, but I'll just do the first one as an example. Um, so <laughs> nice Altium UI feature. Before we did tools and then copy component. When it's a footprint, you need to do edit and then copy component. And then you need to go to the destination PCB library. So that's going to be ICs. Open that one up. And then edit paste component. So completely different workflow and location. So that doesn't make any sense, but is what it is. Um, and then yeah, so that's been pasted in there. Uh, and now what I can do is go. So this is called the PW14. I can go to the schematic, and I'm just gonna delete this and then re-add it just so that I'm sure that it's working. So I sees. Cool. Doesn't show up. Great. Let's see, maybe it's because I didn't save it. Let's try this again. Add this footprint. Browse. There it is. PW14, click OK. And now we can be sure that this is uh, linked up properly. So now you can just uh, save the schematic library, uh, git add that, um, and push it up to GitLab, and then you're good to go.